Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven. Yes. Don't interrupt me, I'm praying. But you called me, my dear. Called you? No, I didn't call you. I'm praying. Our Father, who art in heaven. There. You did it again. Did what? You called me. You said, Our Father, who art in heaven. Well, here I am. What's on your mind, my child? But I didn't mean anything by it. I was, you know, just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. It makes me feel good. Kind of like fulfilling my duty. Well, all right. Please go on. Okay. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. Right there. What do you mean by that? By what? By hallowed be thy name. It means... It means... Good grief, I don't know what it means. <laughs> How in the world should I know? It's just part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? It means honored, holy, wonderful. Hey, that makes sense. I never thought about what hallowed meant before. Thanks. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Sure. Why not? What are you doing about it? Doing? Why, nothing, I guess. I just think it would be kind of cool if you got control of everything down here, like you have up there. You know, we're in a mess down here, you know. Yes, I know. But have I got control of you, my child? I go to church. This isn't what I asked you. What about your bad temper? You've really got a problem there, you know. And then there's the way you spend your money all on yourself. And what about the kind of books you read? Now hold on just a minute. Stop picking on me. I'm just as good as some of the rest of the people in church. Excuse me? I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who are praying for it. Like you, my child, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I do have some hang-ups, now that you mention it. I could probably name some myself. So could I. I haven't thought about it very much until now, but I really would like to cut out some of those things. I'd like to, you know, be really free. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work together, you and me. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, if you don't mind, I need to finish up here. This is taking a lot longer than it normally does. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut out uh, the uh, bread and some of that stuff that you buy that kind of builds on some weight. Hey. You're overweight as it is, my child. Wait a minute, what is this? Here I am doing my religious duty and all of a sudden you break in and remind me of my hang-up. Praying is a dangerous thing. You just might get what you asked for. Remember, you called me, and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep on praying, my child. Well, go on. Scared to. <laughs> Scared of what? I know what you'll say. Try me. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What about Anne? See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew you would bring her up. Why, Lord, she's told lies about me, spread stories. She never paid back the money she owes me. I swore I'd get even with her. But your prayer, 
What about your prayer? <coughs> I didn't mean it. Well, my child, at least you're honest. But it's quite a load carrying around all that bitterness and resentment, isn't it? Mm, yes, but I'd feel a lot better if I could get even with her. Boy, have I got plans for her. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> no, you won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. You know how unhappy you are. Well, I, your Lord, can change that. You can? How? Forgive Anne. And then I'll forgive you. And the hate and the sin will be Anne's problem, not yours. You will have settled the problem as far as you are concerned. Oh, I know you're right. You always are. And the more that I want revenge, I want to be right with you. <sighs> all right, all right. I forgive her. There now, my child. Wonderful. How do you feel? Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, I feel pretty great. Uh, you know, I don't think I'll go to bed up tight tonight. I haven't been getting, getting much rest, you know. Yes, I know. But you're not really through with your prayer, are you? Please go on. Oh, all right. And lead us not into temptation. Good, good. I'll do that. Just don't put yourself in a place where you can be tempted. What do you mean by that? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. Okay, go ahead and finish your prayer, my child. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Do you know what would bring me real glory? What would really make me happy? No, but I'd like to know. I want to please you now. I've really made a mess of things. I want to truly follow you. I can see now how great that would be, so tell me, what would make you truly happy? My child, you just did. <laughs> Very cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it, it helps a lot of people to kind of think through the Our Father, mm -hmm. to make it real. Mm -hmm. There was a priest uh, that made a visit to uh, Cabrini Hospital, and he came into this room, and the little old lady was there trying to say her rosary. And she was said, Father, I tried so hard to say the rosary, but I'm having a terrible time to kind of, uh, to keep up thinking about uh, the prayers as I should. When I get to the Our Father, I just think, the Our Father. And then th before I know it, I looked at the clock and a whole hour has gone by. <laughs> and... You know, Father then shared with us, he staggered out of that room. He had just met a true contemplative. Mm -hmm.